Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're gonna do a little shawarma flavored chicken. I got this uh, shawarma rub recipe offline uh, from a place uh, called the Little Spice Jar, okay? Uh, in my travels uh, in the military, I've been to foreign areas and foreign lands and over the Middle East and things and love shawarma, tasted it, man, it's fantastic. So. I wanted to find a good shawarma recipe. I saw several online, but then I found this one at the Little Spice House. So uh, the Little Spice House is a website uh, by this lady called uh, Marzia Aziz. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, okay? Uh, she's a nutritionalist, a uh, food blogger, and uh, you need to check out her website. She's got some fantastic stuff out there. I'll, I'll put the uh, link to her uh, website down in the description block and then I'll show you some of her stuff here up on screen but check out the website so I found this shawarma rub recipe on her website and that's what we're going to be using today I'll put the description block like the description of the recipe down on the uh, in the bottom screen description block and a link to it to her website okay so uh, what we're going to be doing today we have uh, six uh, drumsticks here and they've been washed and cleaned and things and According to uh, Marzia's website, that these should be marinated for about an hour in a combination of olive oil, white vinegar, and salt. Okay, so that's what we have here. I have mixed up in this little bowl. It's uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of white vinegar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, not kosher salt, just regular table salt. It didn't mention kosher salt. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and rub these down with this mixture to get these all nice and, and marinated. Okay, we're gonna let these sit in the fridge for about an hour, hour and a half to let the uh, vinegar and the oil do its work. Okay. Now, if you've never had shawarma before, uh, you, you're really missing out. You know, uh, I put a picture up here on the screen. Shawarma is that, uh, you know, that meat that they put on the rotisserie and uh, spins round and round. They shave it off and things of that nature. And um, it's just uh, fabulous when you put it between like pita bread or something of that nature. So, but, uh, okay, so these are marinated. Are, are marinated. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and top this up and put this in the fridge and... We'll be right back to season them, okay? So, hey, don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so it's been an hour. The uh, chicken's been marinating in that olive oil, vinegar, salt uh, marinade. The smoker is upstairs, uh, already preheated to 325 degrees. And uh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, season. I transferred some of the uh, shawarma rub into a shaker. So we're going to uh, go ahead and, and get these bad boys seasoned up. So we're going to be cooking these on the Rectech uh, RT680 today uh, because I'm going to use the uh, extreme smoke function on it. Uh, I have not used that yet and so I'm interested in seeing how much more smoke flavor that adds to the meat and hopefully it won't over smoke it okay. So. All right, we got that rubbed in. All right, so let me finish seasoning these bad boys and I'll see you out on deck at the grill.
right guys, so we finished with our cook. We had these bad boys on the uh, RT680, the Rectech 680 in the extreme uh, smoke mode for about two hours on 250 degrees just so that I could get some added smoke flavor to them because on the Rectech 680, uh, it only the extreme smoke function only works uh, between 225 and 250 okay so once after two hours and 250 I cranked the temperature up to 325 degrees and let them go for about another hour so we're looking at about three hour cook time here and let me go ahead and give you a close-up look at these bad boys okay so as you can tell they got a nice color I like the color that the swarma rub put on it I can have a great aroma and smells real good. The skin doesn't look quite as crispy as I would have liked it, even though the, I had the temperature up to 325 degrees. I should have cranked it up to at least 400 degrees because of the outside temperature being in the lower 40s uh, or the higher 30s. Uh, since the Rectex aren't insulated, then it changes the internal temperature of the chamber. Okay, so, but uh, hey, let's go ahead and have a taste test and see how these bad boys turned out. Okay. Get one of these. I smell fantastic. It's got that that meta, that that Middle Eastern type aroma to it. That sweet, savory. I can smell all the flavors of the rub in it. Let's go ahead and have a bite. Oh yeah, that's very good. Oh, that's very good. Yep, got that swarm of flavor to it. That Middle Eastern flavor. Sweet. You can taste the uh, the cardamom. The cinnamon, wow, the, the chili, it, it tastes very, very good. This is outstanding. Mm. And I'm not even a big drumstick fanatic, but these are very, very, very good. They're juicy, they're moist because it's dark meat, and the flavor of the shawarma rub is fantastic. So, so hey. If you're in the mood for some shawarma, if you want to try this, then, uh, then, then check it out. I'll put the links uh, for everything down in the description block uh, and the bottom of the screen here, uh, the little spice jar. Uh, she, has some, she has some great, great, uh, Marzia has some great, great recipes out there. So, hey, check them out. So, well, and of, of course, if you're in the mood for a pellet smoker, and it's winter time, so if you don't want to be out there tending to charcoal and fire and wood and stuff like that, you just want to set it and forget it, hey, and you're in the market for a pellet smoker, check out the guys over at Rectech Grills. They got the RT680, they got the, uh, the Rectech Mini Pellet Smoker, and they got this new bullseye out there. I haven't seen it, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, maybe we can get our hands on one in the near future, but... Um, it looks like it's a, uh, a, a direct grill where you can smoke and grill using pellets as your fuel. So, interesting concept. Looks like they're trying to take over the kettle game. So, well, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. See you guys around the smoker.